All right, Ted, there's only one week until some lower elementary Clark County School District students return to campus. The start of the transition began today with a number of educators going back for the first time since March of last year. A News Now reporter Kristen Drummond visited a Northwest Valley school to take a look at the transition. There's a bustle of activity here at Gerheim Elementary School as staff and teachers return to campus and make their final preparations for students to come back next Monday. <laughs> It feels like the first day of school all over again. I have to go to my meeting. Some anxiety and excitement for pre-kindergarten to third grade educators at Gerheim. Most reporting back to get ready for hybrid learning. That's a mix of in-person and online classes during the week. Teachers are setting up their classrooms to keep desks spaced out. The librarian also unpacking cameras, tripods, and headphones to help teachers live stream so students at home can follow the lessons. Most teachers here are assigned a cohort as well as students in full-time distance education. That choice was made to keep students and teachers together. My staff was very responsive of trying to keep their kids, maintain their kids, and was willing to at least come for an in-person session to serve those kids that wanted to be in person, but then maintaining the rest of their class that wanted to be distant learning. Teachers continue adjusting to the situation and the task of bringing most children in buildings for the first time since March. I think it's going to take us a, a couple days to figure out what's going to be the best groove that the kids work well with. CCSD has a website with information dedicated for only hybrid learning. For a link, visit our website, 8newsnow.com. Reporting from the Northwest Valley, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. Kristen, thank you. And to help you with the transition of hybrid learning, CCSD has created a site to answer all of your questions from sports to food service, health and safety technology. It is all there. So we decided to dive in on how exactly it's working, taking a look at transportation.